Hey everyone, I'm Case Aiken, and for this week's Superman Analog, I want to talk about a character who mostly appeared in the background, and really only in one major story, and that's Brainiac's daughter from Kingdom Come. One thing I always loved about the Legion of Superheroes, and I think most fans of the Legion will back me up here, is that the passage of time changed alliances and ultimately we were looking at a better world. Because when you look at the 20th century, one of Superman's arch rivals was Brainiac. But then you get to the 30th century and you have Brainiac 5, Brainiac's descendant, be it from robotic iterations, cloning, adoption, or just the old fashioned way, a hero in good standing in the Legion of Superheroes, and often someone who ends up romantically involved with Supergirl when he wasn't with Laurel Gand. It's like how in Star Trek The Next Generation we have Worf. The former villains have become allies and heroes as we progress into a better world. So when Mark Wade and Alex Ross were creating Kingdom Come, they had to fill out lots of characters in the background. It's supposed to be a world that's just overpopulated with superpowered beings. So there's all kinds of one-off ideas just thrown out there to show the drift of comics over time. And one of those background characters is a nod to the Brainiac Supergirl relationship. In the notes, they call her Brainiac's daughter with the real identity of XTC, which is a music reference. XTC was an English rock band and they had a song called Brainiac's Daughter. So it was a fun illusion. The character has a lot of the classic Alex Ross design flares, what with the main icon being enlarged so it becomes a huge design element for the character. We see this all over Kingdom Come, but we also see this in characters like Supreme when Alex Ross attempted to redesign his outfit. But aside from her background appearances in Kingdom Come, that's kind of it. We did get a blink and you'll miss it appearance in Justice League Adventures number 20, which I have to thank user Kara Quirrell for pointing out to me, but that was an incredibly quick cameo. So while I have her in my headcanon as Brainiac 6, we honestly just don't know that much about this character. We know that she can fly and that she's super strong, but we don't even really have a gauge for how much, and that's about it. So while she's a really cool to think about character, we don't really know that much more. That said, a Kryptonian Kaluan hybrid is dope, and I'd love to see her again in something. There's been a lot of attention given to the House of L and how the lineage of Superman eventually would go on to intermarry with fifth dimensional imps and have members who become blue lanterns. But I like the idea that Supergirl has her own distinct lineage and that from her side, one of Superman's worst enemies will eventually become the forebear of the next generation of Kryptonian superheroes. Anyway, next time, Instead of talking about a hypothetical daughter of Supergirl, let's talk about a character who kind of stood in for her towards the later part of the reboot era of the Legion of Superheroes. But until then, stay super, man. Hey, I just want to thank everyone again for sticking around through these videos. You know, these are things that were just a lot of fun for me to just kind of babble about Superman related characters. And the channel has since grown threefold since I started doing these, which is incredible. So thank you. Uh, also, check out the podcast that I do associated with this, Men of Steel. It's over at CertainPOV.com. There's tons of other great shows. I'm also the host of Another Pass, which is a movie show where we talk about how movies may have been improved at the time of production. And sometimes we talk about movies that almost didn't happen and how creative people made it work. So check both of those shows out. They're great, but also just all the all the people I work with over there are awesome. So you should take a look. We have all kinds of topics. While you're over there, there is a link to our Discord server. There's also a link in the description uh, and you can come interact with us directly. But you know, I just can't express how much I've appreciated all the feedback. Even comments correcting me when I get things wrong are appreciated. So please just thank you for all this and just know that it's all coming from a place of loving these characters. So thank you, everyone, and have a great week.